Yo guys, this is Delirious Sanity and today I'm doing a top 10 mods. I will be doing this video every Monday from now on until mods cease to exist, which I don't think will ever ex happen. I'm just kidding, I'm not going to do it forever, but I'll do it for at least a year or two or something. But um, yeah, so this is going to be the new Monday mod. I'm sorry they're going to come in Tuesday morning. I might start doing them... See, what I do is I record all day, and then I upload all night. So, it takes me a while to get them out there. I might start doing, um, like, s like Monday's video Sunday, so that they come sun Monday morning. But I haven't started doing that yet, so you're going to get it on Tuesday, but it's intentionally going to be a Monday mod. So, the first one is called Unlock Settlement Objects with all DLC, uh with all of the plugins and everything. I know this made the top 10 of last week, but it definitely deserves another top 10 because if you don't have this mod, you should really get it. If you have all of the plugins, you can pretty much build just about everything in all the DLCs and the base game, which is very, very useful. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. And then the second one is uh, UCO clothing, uh, UCO Unified Clothing Overhaul with all of its plugins. I'm going to go over this really quickly. This is the base game one. You're going to want this one if you have only the base game. And to make that work, you need armor and weapon keywords community. So you've got base game, armor and weapons keyword community. If you have the DLC, you're going to want all of these ones. These three plus this one right here. So those are all the DLCs. But then, if you want to color your Pip-Boy, change the color of it, whatnot. I'm sure you've seen a video or two where I have an American flag Pip-Boy because I'm American as fuck. This is the one you're going to want. And this works with base game. But in order to have this one work, you need base game and armor and weapon keywords community. So I think you guys are getting the idea. You need base game and armor and weapons keyword community to make any of the other ones work. So you can have all the DLC ones, you can have the Pip Boy one, but you need those to begin with. But that's the. I know that was like seven mods, but that's the second mod. It's just a bunch of plugins. Um. But they're really, really, really worth it. So the third mod is Giant Dog Meat. Because I could not forget about dog meat. You guys should really watch my video on that if you haven't seen it. The reason this made the list is because it was like one of the only mods that I downloaded. And I could not stop laughing. It was just the funniest fucking shit ever. I mean... Watch out when he takes his shit, but I mean, it, it's really fucking funny. It, especially when he starts fucking, like, playing with that titty bear and doing all kinds of shit. And he gets stuck in a church with his head poking out of the top. It's just funny. He gets stuck in trees. He gets stuck, but it's just funny. Alright, anyway. On to the next one, which is going to be the fourth one. That is Eyes Expanded. This one is really cool because... You can change your eyes to any type of eyes in the game, which I really fell for because I just feel like there's not enough character within the normal eyes, you know, brown, green, hazel, whatnot. There's just not enough character. If you're walking around with white eyes or black eyes or cat eyes or ghoul eyes, you know, it makes you look completely like an outcast, completely separate from the whole game. But anyway, on to the fifth one. The fifth one is Settlement Height 9000. The reason this one made the top 10 is because I have been wanting to build super duper duper high for so long. I wish they would have like made the height build higher in the DLCs or something. It sucks that we had to wait all the way till mods to be able to build a freaking tall building like really so originally with your height you only had 1000 you could build five stories high 
they multiplied it by nine, so you can do nine thousand. So I don't know what nine times five is, but let me see: five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. You can build forty stories high, if my math is correct. I'm terrible at math. Don't blame me if you can't build 40 stories high, but I believe that's what you're going to be able to build is 40 stories high, and that is just going to be incredible. And I will be doing a video on this mod. I haven't yet, and the reason is is because I want to build something epic for you guys, and I haven't been able to do that yet. It, it takes a lot of time to build stuff, uh, especially when you want it to make look really good. But anyway, the sixth one is called More Map markers this one definitely definitely deserves a top 10 because I mean this is one where I have once again been waiting since base game when the fuck are they gonna make all these secondary locations known on the map why can't they do this a lot of the secondary locations are very important locations for either legendary weapons or missions or something rather and they're not on the map what the fuck Bethesda anyway the seventh one is Zombie Walkers, and this mod you're seeing here on the screen now is Zombie Walkers Replace Creatures. These both made the seventh one. The Zombie Walkers you need, it changes all the ghouls into zombies. But then the Zombie Walkers re ah, Replacement Creatures replaces m more, uh, most of the animals in the game or creatures should I say with zombies which is pretty sweet I in order to do the video on zombie walker I had to use replacement creatures because they just weren't spawning for me but you know they might spawn for you but I don't know I kind of like the replacement creatures one if you just want to play a zombies game in fallout then there you go the eighth one is Marlboro Mansion you ask why does this one make the list and I'll say because I needed a settlement mod and this one just happened to be pretty much the best one arguably there are some pretty sweet ones out there I mean there are some really fantastic ones but they they don't necessarily feel like settlements and a lot of time the mod author doesn't want you to delete his stuff so he keeps it you know in a certain place and he won't let you edit any of it this one really feels like a settlement. It feels like a player home. If you if you tried the outfield retreat, this is like that one, but two stories and much better. It's really cool. Anyway, the ninth one is weightless ammo. The reason this one made the the list is because I needed one <coughs> survival mod and this one is a mod that I use on survival difficulty every time because I love survival difficulty but why the hell does my ammo have to weigh I play on every other difficulty and it doesn't weigh nothing but then survival difficulty and I have to carry one gun with one ammo type it's so ridiculous so weightless ammo very good for survival the last but definitely not least is called general overboss this mod is extremely useful if you like to move around settlers and whatnot what it does is it allows you to move around settlers that are supposed to be permanently stuck somewhere so if there's people in Abernathy farms or a few other locations like for example I forget what the settlement was, but there's this one robot that goes around. He's like, hey, man, how's it going? He sounds like Cheech, and he's like a really hippie guy. He's got like a bandana around him. It's pretty much like a hippie Codsworth, and he's like the coolest freaking settler ever, but the settlement he's at is like one of the worst. So I moved him to Sanctuary, and now he just roams my Sanctuary, and he's like, hey, man, how's it going? And it's awesome, dude. I fucking love it. I love it. And when I explore more I'm gonna have so many people at sanctuary it's gonna be like its own city you can do anybody from like traders and all kinds of people medics and stuff like that at other settlements you can move them to your settlements 
which is extremely cool. I don't even think you have to have their settlement to do it, but don't quote me on that one. I'm not sure, but I don't think so. Because I kind of just walked up to that settlement and was like, hey, bro, go over to my settlement. And he was like, yeah, man, no problem, you know. But anyway, guys, that's the end of it for the top 10. I appreciate you watching. Subscribe and check out my other videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Enjoy your mods and enjoy your day. Peace out, guys.